Hey guys, this is Johnny Amazon with a quick video review of the LG 55EC9300. It is a 55 inch 1080p OLED TV. Uh, it's a uh, late 2014 model and it uses the WebOS operating system. Uh, so I already have the TV turned on to a uh, soccer slash football game. And this is in uh, the standard video mode. And I'll go through the various video modes in a little bit. Uh, but first I want to show you the remote control. So included with this TV is what LG calls a magic remote. This is the model AN-MR500 model. So it is the 2014 version. Um, as you can see it's very small, very compact, very light. Um, and has very few buttons which is good and bad. So the good is that like I said it's very small, compact and portable and so there's not many buttons to go through but if you have this TV then you're pretty much you know your technology so you know what you want to do specifically so for me I would prefer something that I can press quickly to get through the menus and settings and so as you can see there's not many buttons and there's so there's not many de dedicated buttons for you to go through so there's this main button here which is the home button and it's pretty much an all-in-one button it's kind of like a menu slash smart button and it'll bring up this screen there as you can see and this remote uses a motion control uh, pointer I guess you can say and you kind of use it as like an air mouse and you wave it around the screen and where the pointer goes you can select that so like I said there's no dedicated menu button so you have to kind of go through and find out where the menu button is on screen which is right here and then there is no as you can see on the remote there's no OK button so it is the clicker on the scroll wheel so here I'll move that away so you can see the TV better so you gotta move it position it right over that small menu button and then click down a scroll wheel and which brings up the settings menu so there's a quick settings menu there's a picture menu sound network for the Wi-Fi and various settings general settings uh, where you can update the firmware and software and then uh, a few other menus here so like I said let me go through the different picture settings and you can see I'm not really using the mouse pointer or the remote control pointer because actually on the remote control there is actually a directional keypad so down, up, left, right that you can also use instead of the air pointer so if I just click up and down you go through the various picture menus and you go to vivid that's what it changes to I can go to cinema for a movie which gives a warmer more film look over it and I can go to sports which is what this should be for this particular program as you can see it uh, oversaturates or highlights the greens for grass and it adds the uh, the motion control setting so it will make the sports action easier to see and there's also a game setting if you want to uh, play video games on it and then two custom settings which LG calls Expert 1 and Expert 2 and uh, on Expert 1 I have it's calibrated from uh, David uh, Katzmeier's uh, calibration settings from CNET 
So this is uh, good for nighttime uh, viewing, specifically movie viewing. Well, the regular cinema is good for kind of uh, overall movie viewing. So let's go back to standard. And so you can click it, select it. And then go back. So that's the back button. But there's no dedicated exit button. So either you just keep on clicking back or you click on the home button which brings you to the main screen and then another click to get rid of it. So, there that so let's click on the mouse, on the house, the home button again and go through some of the apps here as you can see. Um, this one is a recent activity panel that can select from your previous inputs or previous apps. So if I had like Netflix on earlier, it would show up here as the recent activity. So let's speak of Netflix, let's go to Netflix. But as you can see, just on the standard setting, contrast levels are just out of this world. And it's not very easy to see because you're watching a video of a video. But when you're up, when you're in person watching this movie on this TV, it just literally blows you away. I mean. The clarity is one thing, but that, like I said, that infinite contrast. So the rest of the remote is um, pretty simple. There's the volume keys right here, the channels key on this side. Um, because it is a 3D TV, you can press this button when you're watching a movie to get the full effect. So let's see if it works on this Netflix. There are various 3D settings that you can play around with. Find out which one's best for you. So what I did there was um, I pressed this button, which takes you to the live TV or um, if you have it hooked up to a cable to a cable box it will bring you straight to the cable box input and then you can also tell the remote what you want to do with this microphone button so like a Siri or Google now kind of thing and that's pretty much it to remote so there are two quick samples there that I just showed you folks. Uh, one is for sports, one is for movies. And as you can see from the image quality, it's just really, really excellent. The best I've ever seen from any TV. So I hope you enjoy that. And uh, be sure to check out my other videos from my YouTube channel or from my Amazon profile. All right, guys. Thank you. Aloha. Isn't quite hit with this sweet spot from Vargas right here. Just.